Hello everybody, welcome to this presentation. My name is Santiago Morales and I'm the 2020 Design Life Product Manager. Today's presentation is going to be focusing on the latest functionalities of version 13.0. Very excited. If you have any questions throughout this presentation uh, for me or for any member of 2020, make sure to ask them through the chat box. I think it's accessible through the bottom right hand corner of the web application. Okay. 2020 Design Live version 13. Extremely excited to present you the latest functionality. And I'll start off right away with a very important one called Design Live Share. So in today's world, I think you're going to appreciate this functionality uh, very much. Uh, Everybody has is, is been asked or has to work more and more remotely uh, due to the latest situations, of course, and which allows for more work from home, more work uh, away from the customers. And we need to find a way to get that col collaboration back so we can get more work done together and effectively. So. This functionality allows the sharing of perspectives that you generate with 2020 Design Live with your customers. Okay? You'll be sharing a URL that a customer will be able to open through a mobile, app, a mobile uh, hardware device or from a desktop application or then again an iPad. Okay? How is this done in 2020 Design Live? We'll take a look. But before, I'm going to go over a few uh, basic explanation of the application. Most of you are familiar with 2020 Design Live, but for those of you who, who, who are seeing this for the first time, this is 2020 Design Live. Uh, it's a CAD program that allows you the conceptions and the visualizations of your projects, which are the kitchen and bath uh, project. In the center of your screen, you'll have the main area, which is the elevations and your floor plans. On the left-hand side, I'll have access to my catalogs, Again, 2020 Design Live application is a tool that allows you to import uh, items from catalogs, whether they are local catalogs in SAR on your machine, or they're better yet items from the catalogs uh, from the cloud catalog. Okay, here I have the cloud browser, which essentially does provide me access to all the catalogs that are available today in the cloud. Starting at the beginning here, I have all the ones starting by 2020. So these are all the generic catalogs offered in. Uh, all flavors of the Design Life uh, license, the foundation and the full one. So 2020 appliance, 2020 decorative items, 2020 frame cabinetry, frameless, sinks and faucet. And of course, if I have the full version of 2020 Design Life, I have access to all of these uh, ca cloud catalogs, whether they are cabinets, appliances, plumbing catalogs. These are now all accessible through the cloud. So very excited to have these all for you to, to play with, okay? So cloud catalog access, elevations and floor plan. And on the right-hand side, I have my information box, placement tool. And more importantly, I have the cloud configurator. The cloud configurator is a very powerful tool that allows me the configurations of cloud items. So if you're playing with cloud cabinets, you can drag and drop them on the floor plan and you'll be able through the cloud configurator to uh, change the options of these items, whether they're, you want to change the door styles, the material finish, the door pull, the door finish, these are all uh, capabilities that the cloud configurer allows you to do. Okay, a bit more on that throughout the, the presentation today. Okay, now going back to my uh, feature that I like to demonstrate with you guys. So I have here a rendering of my kitchen that I've done previously, uh, I, ju I just brought up. And uh, in the Renders tab, right here, you'll notice that I have a new button called Design Live Share. So how do I give this image to my customer? So through the Design Live Share, I have a little arrow pointing down. I click on the Information box. And the first time I, I click on Design Live Share, this pop-up will appear. It gives me three options. One, of course, is to close by clicking OK. But the other two are fairly simple and very powerful. Open link will open a web page, which it has opened on my screen here on the, on the right hand side. So it opens up a web page with the URL. This URL you can grab, control A, control C, and paste it onto an email or a text message that you like to send to a customer.
So the user will be able to paste this on his web browser and access the image that you just shared with him. Okay. So in real time, you'll be able to provide updates to his projects. Okay. For instance, if I set this aside, I click this OK, and I'd like to share a different perspective. Okay. Okay. So in this case, I've selected a different point of view. I want to show him the different angle of the of this kitchen. And once it's completed its rendering, I can click on the Inside Life Share again, and this will update the content of the URL. Meaning, meaning that the user will not receive another URL, but rather will be able to access the same URL without changing anything and have the image updated automatically for him. So you'll have the full power of selecting what specifically you'd like to share with your customer. Okay. Another use case, what, what this is useful for, is perhaps to further explore your collaboration with your customer. In this case, a customer might like to see different styles of cabinet or different finishes for his kitchen. Or in some cases, we'll like to have to experiment with a different color of island. Let's, let's take a look at that. So for that, I'll select the capability of the cloud configurator. In this case, I'll select my island cabinets. My island cabinets are all selected. And I'll change the cabinets to something dramatically different. Let's go with something crazy like yellow. In this case, through the cloud configurator, I was able to select a few cabinets, set the finish of, of only these cabinets without changing the catalog from which they were pulled in. And for those of you who are playing or are, are accustomed to using local catalogs, this could be quite cumbersome. But the cloud configurator goes away, deals away with this uh, problematic. So you're able to set or select just a few set of cabinets. And in this case, my perspective, the color of my cabinets have been changed to yellow. So if the customer wants to see this update, I click again on Design Life Share. This updates the uh, URL content. And now my customer sees the yellow cabinets for its island and might not want to deal with you anymore. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Cool. I think that rounds up the Design Live Share functionality, which I'm really excited to present to you today. So let me close this up, put it on the side, and set the color of my cabinets to uh, white so that uh, it'll be less problematic for my customer. On to my next functionality, which is 360 multi point navigation. So a lot of you have been use, making use of this functionality in its early stage, which is a 360 panoramic image. And I'll just pull an example of what I'm talking about here. Here I have a 360 panoramic image that was generated through 2020 Design. With this version of 2020 Design Live, I, we've introduced a concept of multi point. So if I click on these multi point, I have a different angle from which I can select and view my kitchen. So this is very handy if you like to provide more viewpoints for your customer for which they want to navigate through the cut through their kitchen or, or project. How do you do that in 2020 Design Live? Let's take a look. Again, this is 2020 Design Live. I'll bring back the perspective. The generation of 360 uh, panoramic multi-point images is done the exact same way as before. And so through the 360 panoramic image icon, I can click on this, and this will bring up uh, the same windows that you're used to, but we've changed the upper portion to present the name view's position. So through the setup of multiple name views, you'll be able to see them appear in the top right, in the top portion of this window. So you can select one, two, or all of them, so you can generate a 360 panoramic image for each one of them. Bear in mind, that each, the more you select, the more time you'll need to generate all these 360 panoramic image. And just like before, once you're happy with the selection, you can click on Publish, and this will generate all my 360 panoramic images. OK? Cool. Very excited to see you play with this functionality. Next one down the list, the bokeh, or also known as the focus effects. 
So this is a, an artistic effect that was provided between within Easy Render, the latest rendering engine, that allows you to provide or set certain areas of your kitchen in focus while blurring the background of the kitchen. Let's take a look how this works in 2020 design. I here have the same kitchen, and I'll select perhaps a different angle, and I'll go here from the bottom right uh, to put more emphasis on the island of this kitchen. All right, so I have here my kitchen, and what I'll do is I'll go into the Effects tab. In the Effects tab, since if I recall 12.3, we we've provided all these post-process effects controls, starting with a set of filtering capability that can be applied directly on the rendered image, but most importantly, the controls for brightness, contrast, shadow highlights, color temperature, whether you wanted something more warm or more, sorry, more cold or more warm, you can provide these effects through these post process effects. Since version 13, we've now introduced a new set, which is the bokeh that are controlled through the blur, the focus radio, and the pick focus point. How do I play with it? So in this case, I like to set my focus point on the um, bowl of grapes. I'll start by providing some focus, some, some blurring effects, sorry. Then I'll select a pick focus point. As you can see, once I click this, my mouse becomes a crosser, and I'll select my bowl of grapes to be my focus point. As you can see, the effect can be seen, and my grape is already in focus. So in this case, I like to see all my island in focus, so I can play with the focus radius. So if I increase this, you'll see that slowly my island now is completely in focus while the background is out of focus again this is an artistic effect you'll be able to play with it as much as you like and this is an instant instantaneous effect you'll be able to play back and forth uh, in the very quickly cool and if you like a dramatic effect i remove all the color by the saturation and provide a black and white image for my customer and if I want to share this, remember, I can simply click on Design Live Share again. And this will now be appearing at my client's location. Cool. All right. Let's get on to the next topic, which is auto logout on application close. So this is a functionality that has been asked for a certain portion of our users that, would, that need to work on multiple computers uh, throughout the course of the week or the day. So people might be starting at work on a, on a computer, and then go out home and continue the projects from there. Unfortunately, if you forget to sign out, you won't be able to use your license from home. Okay. So with this functionality, which is actually a preference in 2020 design, you can configure 2020 design live to automatically log out when you close the application. Where is this available? If you go into the preference menu, files, Preferences. Here's a preference menu. If I go into the overall settings, at the bottom I have automatic logout when application closed. By default, is not selected. So by default, it will be the same behavior as you used to, meaning that the computer will save your license locally in case you want to reuse it on the same computer at a later time. So for those of you who always work from a single computer on the laptop, for instance, you most likely don't want this feature to be enabled. But for those of you who work from multiple computer, make sure to tick that off if uh, so you can access your license from different location and you only need to sign back in. Cool. Very happy. So that was in the bulk the list of functionalities that I would like to present to you. So again, a quick recap, we've talked about the uh, Design Live Share capability. So the ability to share URL with the images of your perspective with your uh, customers, so to, uh, to generate more collaboration between the two parties. Then we looked at the 360 multi-point navigation tools, which allows the conception of multiple, or the conjunction of multiple 360 panoramic image so you can navigate through one point to another to get different angles of your kitchen. We talked about the bokeh effect, focus effect, which allows you to 
put certain aspect of your kitchens in focus and have the rest of it blurred out. And finally, we, took, we talked about the sign out upon application close.